my name is Michael, and today I'll be showing you the Setup tab in POCO, the FileMaker database from ThinkCrew. The Setup tab is where you're going to enter all of the basic information for your show. It's going to be utilized by all of the different tabs in POCO. The Setup tab itself is actually divided into a number of sub-tabs. There is Show Setup, DMMO Back, Itinerary Email, Status Email, and the Advanced tab. Let's start with the Show Setup tab, and this is where you're going to enter in the general info, show title, addresses, those sorts of things that will show up in the headers of some of the documents that you're going to publish in POCO. So we'll start with the show title, and you can enter in office addresses, and POCO actually allows for up to seven lines of company addresses. So if you have multiple addresses, for instance, one for your production company and one for your production office, editorial suites, whatever other addresses you might have, you can list them all here in this one field. And then beneath that, you can enter in all of the different phone numbers for your show. So for instance, I'm going to enter the phone number for the production office right here, and then a different phone number for accounting. And for this particular example, I don't really need the other phone number fields. When you first launch POCO, it auto-populates all of these different names right here. But I don't really need them here for my example, so I'm just going to select these names, hit the delete key, and delete out these names. You can feel free to use any or none of these uh, as needed. POCO will know not to use the extra space if you do happen to leave them blank. And then you're also going to need to enter in your production company name, and this is used in the various contracts that POCO can produce. This next field allows you to create a prefix for any file names for files that POCO produces in the course of its work. So for instance, I'm going to use the initials of this movie, and then any time POCO creates a PDF file, it will prefix that file name with these initials. So for instance, if I'm publishing a crew list, POCO will create a file name named ilywcrewlist.pdf. This can be a helpful way to keep your files separate for different shows. The next field is the cast list header information, and this is an area where you can optionally enter different information that will appear at the top of your crew list. So for instance, some people like to have the casting director's name at the top, and let's also add in the director's name. And let me show you where this actually appears. When you go to the people tab, let's jump to the cast list, go to preview, and you can see right there, that's where that information shows up. Now, of course, I can hear you saying, but what about this big area up here that I seem to have overlooked? This is actually a fun new area in POCO 3.1. You can now enter in graphics on the tops of your documents. So for instance, if I wanted to include a header image at the top of my crew list, cast list, what have you, all I need to do is click Insert Picture, select any image you've already created, and voila, there it is. And you can actually also add pictures for the left and right as well. And if I decide I don't like these pictures or want to remove them, just click on the little checkbox in the upper right corner of each one of these fields and the graphic will immediately be deleted. The next sub-tab under the Setup tab is the Deal Memo Back tab. And as you might guess, this is the text that appears on the back of the Deal Memo. POCO provides you with this boilerplate text to appear on the back of your Deal Memo you may have a production attorney who wants to use his own language, or you may want to edit the language yourself. Whichever you decide to do, this is the area where you're going to do that work. The next sub-tab is the Itinerary Email tab. An itinerary email is produced from the Flights tab, and is, of course, addressed to the people who are receiving their itinerary to travel. So aside from the To field, there are a number of fields here to enter as default settings for each one of these emails. So for instance, some people may wish to be automatically CC'd on every flight itinerary that is produced, and you can enter their information here. And if you have more than one email address to enter here, just use a comma to separate the addresses. You could also enter in blind CC fields, change the subject line for default, or the default email message. The status email tab operates much the same as the itinerary email, but of course it is for the status reports that you're going to publish from the shoot day tab. And here you get a to field. So we'll enter the email addresses of the people who would always like to receive the status report. And any CC or blind CC addresses would of course go right here. And of course you can also change the subject or the default message that accompanies the status report as well. 
the Advanced tab contains a number of different controls that you may not commonly use, but it's important that you know how to use these because some of these tools can actually be quite powerful as you use POCO. The first of these advanced settings is the distribution label names. If you look here on the People tab, you'll see that the distribution list right here is currently populated with a number of different items. If you wanted to edit these items, you can click on the Edit button right there, or go to the Setup tab and then click on Advanced. It will, of course, get you there as well. And these fields allow you to actually edit the items that are going to be in your distribution list. POCO comes already populated with a number of different items here, but you may want to distribute different items on your show. And of course, you have the opportunity to make those changes here. So for instance, on this show, we may not want to distribute a one-liner, but instead may want to distribute a background day out of days. And as soon as you've made your changes here, they of course show up immediately in the People tab. The next set of fields I'd like to talk about are actually also visible here in the People tab, and that's the user-defined fields. We knew when we created POCO that there would be a number of situations where you would need fields that we hadn't thought of when we were developing it. So we created four different text fields, which weren't set to be utilized in any particular way when POCO's first launch, but you can use it in any way that you can imagine. And if you'd like to edit the names of these fields, MISC 1 through 4, just click on the Edit button, or of course the Setup tab, and then the Advanced sub-tab. And you can edit the names of these fields right here. So for instance, you might want to use one of these fields to differentiate between local and distant hires if you're shooting on location. In doing this, you can now see that the first user defined field is called local distant, and you could enter in data for each person on your show if that's something you needed. The advanced tab also contains a number of checkboxes. These are pretty self-explanatory, but they are the show welcome at startup checkbox. This of course will show you the startup screen when you first launch POCO if that's something you'd like. The show file size warning at next picture import, this will show you a dialogue whenever you import your next picture and will give you more information about file sizes and how they affect POCO. And the last one may actually be the most useful for you, which is create backup on shutdown. POCO has the ability to create backups of itself every time it shuts down. And if that's something that you feel like you would need on your show, this might be an important checkbox for you to check. Now this next area, vendor value list relationships, takes some explaining. But I think it's really important that you understand how this works because there are some circumstances where you could find this very helpful on your show. But of course, before I talk about these fields specifically, I'd like to show you how the Vendors tab shares information with the Hotels and Cars tab. Now in this example, I've already set up two car rental vendors in the vendor list. I have set up Enterprise and I have set up Hertz. And the important part in this example is that I have identified their category as car rentals. So when I go and I enter new car rental information in the Cars tab, and in this example I've already entered in the TA and full name, I select this pull down for car company and it will show me the two vendors that I've already identified as being car rental companies back in the vendor list. And of course it's sharing that information with the car tab. And this whole system seems to be working just fine. But what if I'm a person who doesn't like calling my car rental companies car rental companies? What if I prefer to call them rental car companies? Well, that's easily done. From any of the pull down menus in POCO, at the very bottom of the list, there is always an edit option. And you can edit the items that are on the list. So I will go to car rentals here at the top and I will change it to rental cars. Click OK. Reassign both Hertz and Enterprise as rental car companies. And it seems like we're done. Except when I go back to the Cars tab, and I'm going to delete the information that I already entered here so you can see what I'm talking about, and I select the pull down menu, where did my rental car vendors go? Well, of course, the problem is, is that the Cars tab is looking for car rentals, and we just changed the name of this category to rental cars. How do you fix that? In the Setup Advanced tab, there's an area just for that. The Vendor Value List Relationships fields establish what text each one of the tabs is looking for when it's looking for the items that should belong in its list. So having changed car rentals to rental cars, 
we can now go back to the cars, select the pull down, and there are my vendors right there. You should always feel free to change any of the items in any of these pull down lists. But just remember that whenever you're dealing with information that is shared across different tabs, like for instance, hotels, cars, and ground transportation under the flights tab, that these three areas need to know what text they're looking for. And if you need to edit those, now you know the place. The last area here in the advanced sub tab is the button layout connections area. And first, let me jump over the people tab and let me show you a little bit about how POCO's buttons work. From the People tab, you have a number of buttons here at the bottom. And in this tab, it's Crew List, Cast List, Studio List, and so on. It's the different items that you would publish most commonly. So for instance, if I want to see a Crew List, I click on the Crew List button, and it takes me directly to the layout called Crew List. But there are actually a number of different Crew Lists that POCO can publish. It can publish one with addresses. It can publish one with a logo, a graphic at the very top. And it can also publish one that has a logo and addresses. And what if I wanted to default always to using the logo crew list on my particular show? There's a way to do that. Let's go back to the Setup Advanced tab. And what you're seeing here is a list of all the different buttons that occur in each one of these different tabs. So the People tab has the crew list, cast list, studio list, and so on. And all these are all the different buttons that we just saw. So I can actually assign different layouts, and this pull-down represents all of the different items that are available to be published from this particular area, in this case, the People tab. And all I'll have to do is change Crew List to Crew List Logo, go back to the People tab, and now whenever I click on the Crew List button, it will go directly to the Crew List Logo layout instead. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and if you have any questions about the Setup tab or POCO in general, please come find us on Facebook. We have a full discussion area, and we'd be delighted to answer your questions. Thanks again, and enjoy using POCO.